Silver Lake. <laughs> so, good birthday? Mm, considering it was over a month late. Okay, well, well, when we met it, it just passed. If you think about it, I'm 11 months early. I know, I'm kidding. It was a really nice surprise. So is me to you. You're welcome. I think I need some air. Wanna take a break with me? We can go get some ice cream. You know I can't right now, Janice. So, for my birthday next week, do you think I should do a big party or just something small with close friends? Whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. I want it to matter to you. Okay, sorry. What's going on? Nothing. Don't do that. Something's obviously on your mind. It's hard for me to explain. Well, can you try? Otherwise, it's just gonna build up inside you and I'm gonna be in more trouble for it later. Um, you like working with charts and graphs, right? Sure. Imagine a graph. One axis is our emotional investment in each other. The other axis is time. I want to tell you a story. A story about two hearts that started in very different places in the day they switched spots. Do you remember when we first met? Of course I do. Hi, can you hear me? Yep, this is Sean. Uh, I think we're still waiting on Jeff and Linda for marketing. Hi, Sean. Analytics, right? Yeah. I'm Janice from the product team. Nice to meet you. You too. Not how we met, but how you felt when we did. Hey, sorry really. Yeah, thanks for waiting. Hey guys, it's okay. Janice was uh, just correcting all my data. All right, so... Been looking good. Been Even though it was through a webcam, I could still see the shine in your eyes. That's how enamored you were. I'll never forget how hard you tried to keep that boring conference call going. Is that my line way up there? Yeah. You were sprung. I guess I was pretty excited to have met you. But you weren't having any of it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry for being so standoffish. I did think you were cute, but I kept my distance. Safe to say, my line started very low. You were doubtful of yourself. And of falling in love. There were so many times in my past that I thought I had found something real. From High school puppy love to college boyfriends. And each time they ended, I felt so stupid. Why did I allow myself to fall? Why did I let my walls down? So I built them higher to protect myself from people trying to make me believe again. But then you came along. You came along with your smile, your strong hands, your funny hashtags and perfect use of emojis. You came along with confidence, not just in yourself, but in our potential. I felt emotion stirring, but I kept them down. I told myself not to get attached, 
convincing myself I wasn't that interested. But instead of getting discouraged, you could tell that I was just afraid. So you sent messages to make me smile? You listened to difficult answers? You let your arm graze mine and brush my hair to the side? You really believed that after all the failed relationships in each of our past, that this is what it was all for. And one day, you made me believe too. With every night spent in your arms, with every time I called you boyfriend, my emotions grew and my dependence on you deepened. And for some time, I enjoyed this rise in my line. We both did. Something happened after a while. Something I saw in all my past relationships and so many around me. As my line continued to rise, your line began to fall. And despite sensing this, I kept holding on to the hope that it was temporary and would eventually level out. And the sad thing is, the more I saw it fall, the deeper I fell. I became afraid of losing you. But Sean, I have been here before, and I know where this goes. If our lines continue to go this way, then they will eventually cross. And pretty soon, the guy who looked forward to conference calls with me will find excuses to hang up and the girl who avoided you for weeks will end up crying over losing you. I'll toil over how someone who was so anxious to be with me could become so indifferent. Where do those emotions go? What happens to that wonder? Why does interest inevitably diminish after the start of a relationship? got me. Is that all you wanted? Did you not want to keep me? This is where we are now, Sean. Right here. I still believe in you and that we don't have to end up that way. But this is where we are right now. I need to know, which way are you going? still in this bed but my heart is restless chasing the last words you said good morning guys we're here with dia travis is here travis made it thank you for having me 